Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, how are you today? I'm fine. What about you? Fine, thank you, ma'am. Good. I was almost uh, going to my brother's earlier because uh, here we had problems with electricity. <laughs> but later it comes and then I stay. But if something happened, I will have to put my data with the cell phone. But I will finish the class with you, okay? And have you finished uh, section three? Terminaron la sección tres? Okay. But you you are on, on the computer. Usted está con computador. I, I couldn't understand. What did you say, Cesar? You are already in section four. Hello? You are already on section four. No. Yes, oh, right. yes. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Filomena. How are you? I am fine. What about you? Fine. Thank you. Hi, Natalia. How are you? Do you prefer Debbie or Natalia? Debbie, miss. Debbie. Okay. It's, it's sweeter. Nice. Yeah, it's sweeter. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it defines me. <laughs> yes. It's like in my case. My name is Ruth Elizabeth. But in Spanish, it's Ruth. And I I feel it a kind of rude, okay? But my family, since I was a little baby, they called me Bessie. And they figured it out that I was not Bessie until I was six years old. So they were calling me Bessie since I was born up to I was a toddler. Okay, well, I went to kindergarten and uh, when I was in kindergarten, they didn't ask for the certificate, for the birth certificate. So in the kindergarten, they put me as Bessie Carolina Hernández Cornejo and my name was Ruth Elizabeth Hernández Cornejo. But my father didn't say a thing. He just put me as he wanted to, and he didn't say uh, she is not uh, Bessie Carolina. <laughs> so, so I have that have conflict. Like four names. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel more like a Bessie than, than a Ruth. <laughs> oh, my father was very special. He doesn't like to have conflicts. But he made them. Most of the time, that's the way our men. Yes. The thing is that uh, my mother wants to, to name me Bessie Carolina, and everybody agrees. And they write a piece of paper and put Bessie Carolina Hernandez Cornejo for my name. But when he get to the city hall, he put me Ruth because of an aunt that lives with us and Elizabeth uh, on behalf of a cousin of mine that lives with him. So Ruth Elizabeth. 
and it was just until I I was very old when I figured it out why he did that. And I suppose it was because he had another woman. He, he didn't live with, with us. He lives by himself and my mother lives with us in another home. He never got married with anybody. And he had another woman. And with that woman, before I was born, he had a baby girl and that baby girl was called Carolina. And I say, oh, now I understand why my father didn't want to put me Carolina as a name. And he changed the name. He put Ruth Elizabeth instead of Bessie Carolina. Okay. Chima, uh, I got two, two girls with the same name. <laughs> no, but, but uh, not that. Not only that. Uh, he might have two daughters with the same name. The thing is that that daughter died. Maybe he didn't want to name an alive girl as a dead one. Oh, I understand. Okay, so that's why when, when I got to know that, I say, oh, that's why my father didn't want to put me Bessie Caroline. But I like Bessie. In, in in my in my family they are still calling me Bessie. It's like my nickname. But most of the time people say that my name is like a nit a nickname. Yes, but it seems I, so. I, I, yeah, but I try to explain them that no, it's my name. And and do you know what what it means? Or it's from Deborah. Yeah, it means Deborita in in Spanish. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah, in, in my in the case of my younger son, his name is Danny Otoniel. Danny double N Y, but that's his name. So, because I didn't want to, to call him Daniel Otoniel. <laughs> uh, I prefer to call him Danny Otoniel. Because I want to name him Otoniel. Because my, my father's name was Otoniel. Okay, today we will finish section three and for tomorrow it will be the the test okay we will be checking the test but today we will read all the all the tests without telling the answers because you have to make it by yourself but we will check the answers tomorrow okay uh, this is class seven. That's a possibility. And wait, I will move this here and this here. Somebody can read the thought for today. Good evening, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Francisco. Go ahead. Um, okay. Uh, once you stop learning, you start dying. Dying. Albert Einstein. Dying. Sorry. Dying. Uh -huh. Dying. Albert Einstein. <laughs> okay. It, that's that's for me. That's true. You have to learn something every day. Okay. It. If you stop learning, you start dying because, well, you have to make your brain function in order to keep alive, okay? 
Now, the lesson objective. In this class, participants will learn nouns for discussing reactions. Reactions, okay? And here there are some reactions. We have to say which of these examples are these reactions, okay? Now, uh, repeat after me, an assumption. An assumption. An assumption. An assumption. An assumption. A criticism. A criticism. A criticism. A criticism. A demand. A demand. A demand. An excuse. An excuse. An excuse. A prediction. A prediction. A suggestion. A suggestion. A suspicion. A suspicion. A suspicion. A warning. A warning. A warning. Okay. Do you understand what, uh, what each of these means? Good evening, Ana. Ana Yanira. In okay. the case of an assumption, I don't know. You know assumption? Or you no. don't know assumption? No, I don't know. It's almost the same in Spanish. Asumir. Assumption, oh, asumir. Okay. okay. Criticism, criticar. Demand, demandar. Demandar. Excuse, es como disculpar. Disculpar. Discul uh, disculparse, excuse. Prediction, predicción. Suggestion, una sugerencia. Sugerencia. Suspicion, sospechoso. Warning, es como un aviso de peligro, ¿verdad? Warning. Ok. Now, each of you will read one of these examples and will choose which of these reactions are. Ok. Now, uh, Rosemary, can you start, please? Rosemary Samar. Hello, me. Hello, honey. Read A. If you do it again, you have, have, you have to find a new girlfriend. Okay, which of these reactions is that? Um, if you do it again. A prediction? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I guess that is more a warning. Ah, okay. <laughs> I guess it's more a warning. What do you think? The rest of you, what do you think? Yes, teacher, it's true. It's yes, a warning. warning. It is a warning. If you do it again. Okay. Now, uh, who wants to read B? I be you were out with another woman. I bet. I bet you were out huh? with another woman. Okay, I bet you were out with another woman. Do you know what bet is? Suspicions. Yes, it's a suspicion. Do you know what bet is? is? Apostar. Uh -huh. I bet. Apuesto que estabas afuera con otra mujer. Uh -huh. That's a suspicion. Do you remember the suspicion woman that... that the song from Elvis Presley. Okay. Now, uh, C, who wants to read C? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. You can be so inconsiderate 
You can a be so inconsiderate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A criticism. A criticism. Excellent. A criticism. Everybody agrees? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Now, letter D. Uh, me, teacher. You will pro probably forget our anniversary, too. Mm -hmm. What do you mm -hmm. think it, it is? Uh, number seven, a suspicion. Mm, suspicion? Uh, uh, three? I, no think, a prediction. I think it is a prediction. I guess it's, it's a, a prediction. prediction. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. What does everybody say? Do you think it's a, a, a suspicion or a prediction? A prediction. A prediction. A prediction. Okay, yes, because it's you will. Okay. Now, letter A, E. Letter E. Now you have to take, to take me about to dinner, please. Uh, uh, sorry, this is a uh, out. To take me out to dinner. Oh, to, to take, take me, me out, out to dinner. To dinner mm -hmm. twice. twice. A, demand. a demand. A demand. That's a demand. Okay. <laughs> you had to take me out to dinner twice. <laughs> That's a demand. Now, F. Somebody to read F. You must have wanted to break up with me. Uh huh. What do you think it is? Um, like a suggestion or suspicion. Um, I think it is an assumption. 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 Yes. An assumption, one. yes, could be an assumption. And then is read G, please. Uh, you know, you have to buy me flowers. What do you think, think it is? I think it's a demand. Could be a demand. No. I think it is a suggestion. Could be a suggestion. And what about H? It's okay. You must feel really sorry. What do you think it is? An excuse. An excuse. Okay. It is an excuse. Oof. All of these are very, very problematic situations. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess that, that the one who writes all of this uh, has had a, a, a very creative mind or a very, uh, what's the name? Toxic relationship. <laughs> okay. Now, vocabulary exercise. Okay, we will do the same here, but we can check if our uh, guessings were correct or not. Uh, now, the ones that didn't uh, practice uh, in the previous one, uh, can you read it, please? Number one. Okay. If you do it again, you will have to find a new girl, girlfriend. Okay. Which of these? 
a warning. Warning, okay. Now someone else? Me teacher, me teacher. Uh, and then num number okay. two, I bet, I bet you were out with another woman. Mm -hmm. It's a su suspicion. Suspicion, okay. Someone else? Me teacher. You can be... Continue, Noemi. You can be so inconsiderate. Uh -huh. criticism. What's that, excuse me? A criticism. Criticism, okay. And who was uh, almost doing the, the previous one? Can do number four, please? You will probably forget our anniversary, too. A prediction. Okay, thank you. Now, someone else? Now, you have to take me out. No, you have to take me out to dinner twice. Uh, twice. 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 Mm -hmm. At the month. Okay. Now, number six. You must have gone to break up with me. Mm hmm And um, a subsumption? As, no, uh, assumption. Yes. Assumption. Number seven. You know you ought to buy me flowers. A suggestion. Okay. Number eight. It's okay. You must be feeling really sorry. An excuse. An excuse. Okay. Right. You are good on it. Todo lo tienen ya? Todos lo tienen ya? Yes, teacher. In my case, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Todos, todos? Ya todos lo tienen? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. The, number two, number three, teacher, please. Number two or three? Three. Three. Is you can be inconsiderate, a criticism. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Someone else? The last one, please. Wait. It's okay, you must feel very, really sorry, an excuse. Thank you, miss. Okay. Now, oh. sorry. we have to continue with the next. This is the reading exercise I told you. That is not the one that is supposed to be here. So we have it here. Now, the blue lights of Silver Cliff. Look at the picture. What do you think the blue lights are? Look at the picture. What do you think that these blue lights are? It is about the dead people. That... ¿Qué creen que it... son estas, estas luces azules? In Spanish, we, we know it as fuegos fatuos that are made of gases uh -huh. uh, that are in 
came uh, out from the bodies of the people no from the from the fields also some 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 graveyards yes have, this is uh, a graveyard uh -huh, some graveyards are built in areas that uh, have a lot of gases okay i thought that they came out from the decomposition from the bodies as well okay now reading first just follow the reading and then we will read and repeat okay Today, the town of Silver Cliff, Colorado, has a population of only 100 people. Once, however, it was a prosperous mining town where thousands came with dreams of finding silver and making their fortune. Late one night in 1880, a group of miners were headed back to their camp after a good time in town. They were still laughing and joking as they approached the, approach the graveyard on a hill outside Sil Silver Cliff. Then one of the men yelled and pointed toward the graveyard. The others fell silent. On top of each grave, they saw flame-like blue lights. These eerie lights seemed to be dancing on the graves, disappearing and then appearing again. This was the first sighting of the blue lights of Silver Cliff. There had been many other sightings over the years, in 1969, Edward Lineham from National Geographic magazine visited the graveyard. Lineham's article tells of his experience. I saw them then. Round spots of blue-white light glowed eterally among the graves. I stepped forward for a better look. They vanished. I aimed my flashlight at one eerie glow and switched it on. It revealed only a tombstone. Linham and others have suggested various explanations for the lights. The lights might have been reflections of lights from the town, but Silver Cliff lights seem too dim to have this effect. They could have been caused by radioactive ore, though there is no evidence of radioactivity. They may also have been caused by gases from rooting matter. This usually happens in swamps, however, and the area around Silver Cliff is dry, or perhaps the lights are from the hel helmets of dead miners wandering the hills in search of their fortune. Okay. Okay, the blue lights of Silver Cliff. Repeat, please. The blue lights of Silver Cliff. The blue light, the blue of, light of, Silver Silver of Silver Cliff. Look at the picture. Look, Look at, at the picture. picture. At the picture. What do you think the blue lights are? What, what do you think the blue lights are? Blue light are? ¿Cómo dice que se llaman en español? Fuegos fatuos, ¿verdad? Fuegos fatuos. ¿O no? Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Have you ever seen fuegos fatuos before? 
I never have seen them. Okay. Uh, any of you lives near a graveyard? ¿Alguno de ustedes viven cerca de algún cementerio? No. No? No. No. Any of you have passed through a cemetery before? Yes, but at, uh, at noon. Ah, okay. Not not in not at night. <laughs> yeah, no. Yes, because my mother had passed a graveyard. The, the one in San Salvador, remember that it has a street that you have to cross. So, in San Salvador, eh, hay, una, hay una calle dividiendo el cementerio. El cementerio Los ilustres. Uh -huh. yeah. Entonces, este, ella tenía que pasar por ahí. Y she said that she can see some lights, but they are not blue. What's and, the color? And some people say that those lights are from the phosphor, from the 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 people. Okay. O sea, acuérdense que ahí hay humanos enterrados, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay cosas que salen y y que pueden verse como luces. Okay. Now, uh, repeat after me. Today, the town of Silver Cliff, Colorado. Today, the town of Silver Cliff, Colorado. Has a population of only 100 people. Has a, has population, a population of only 100 people. Once, however. Once, however. however it was a prosperous mining town. Where thousands came with dreams. Where thousands came with dreams. Of finding silver. Of finding silver. And making their fortune. And making their fortune. Late one night. Late one night, in 1880, in 1880, a group of miners were headed back to their camp. A group of miners were headed back to their camp. After a good time in town. After a good time in town. They were still laughing and joking. They, they were, were still laughing and joking, joking as they approached the graveyard. As they, as they approached the graveyard. The graveyard. The graveyard. Approached. Approached. Tiene que sonar como T al final. Approached. 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 Okay, on a hill outside Silver Cliff. On a, on a hill, hill outside, outside Silver Cliff. Cliff. Then, 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 one of the men, one of the men, men, men yelled and pointed toward the graveyard. Yelled and pointed, pointed toward the graveyard. The others felt silent. The, the others, others felt, felt silent. silent. On top of each grave, on top, on top, on top of, of each, each grave, grave, they saw flying-like blue lights. They, they saw flying-like blue, blue, light. light, blue light. These eerie lights, these eerie lights, seemed. To be dancing on the graves. Seem to be dancing, to be dancing, 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 dancing on, on the graves. Disappearing and then appearing again. Disappearing, disappearing and then appearing again. 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 This was the first sighting no. of the blue lights. This, this was, was the first sighting of the blue lights. 
of silver cliffs. Oh, oh, silver silver cliff. Cliff. There have been many other sightings over the years. There have been many, been many other sightings over the years. In 1969, Edward Lineham from National Geographic magazine visited the graveyard. Visited the graveyard. Lineham's article tells of his experience. Of his experience. I saw them. I, I saw them. 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 Round spots of blue white light. Round them. spots of blue white light. Blue white light. Blue white light. Glowed ethereal. Glowed ethereal. Among the graves. Among the graves. I stepped forward. I, I stepped, stepped forward, forward for a better look. For, for a better, better look. look. They vanished. They vanished. They vanished. I aimed my flashlight. I aimed my flashlight, flashlight at one eerie glow. At one eerie glow. And switched it on. And, and she no. Oh. It revealed only tombstone. It, it revealed only tombstone. Sé que cuando le pone luz directa se desvanece y se miran solo las las. O sea las. ¿Cómo se llaman esas cosas que ponen encima de las tumbas? Las lápidas. Eso, las lápidas. ¿Verdad? Okay, Lineham and others. Lineham and, and others have suggested various explanations. Have suggested various explanations, various explanations for the lights. For, for the, the lights. lights. The lights might have been reflections. The, the lights light might, might have been reflections, reflections of lights from the town. Of light from the town. But silver cliff lights. But, but silver, silver cliff, cliff lights. Seemed to dim. Seemed to dim. To have this effect. To have this effect. They could have been caused. They could have they been caused. Have been caused by radioactive ore. By radioactive or though, though, though there is no evidence, there is no evidence, there is no evidence of radioactivity. Of radioactivity, they may also have been caused. They may also they may also have been caused by gases. By, by gases from rotting matter. From, from rotting, from rotting matter. matter. This usually happens in swamps. This, this usually happens, happens in, swamps. in swamps. Do you know what swamp is? ¿Saben qué es un swamp? Perdón. Pantano. ¿Qué? Sí, un pantano. Okay. Now, however. However, and the area around Silver Cliff, and the area around mm -hmm. Silver Cliff is dry. Is dry. Is dry. Or perhaps, or perhaps, or perhaps, perhaps, the lights are from the helmets. The lights are, are from, from the helmets of the Miners of the miners wandering the hills, wandering in search of their fortune. 
in, in search, search of their, of their fortune. Ok, vamos a en la plataforma y vamos a contestar las preguntas. Ok, vamos a ver. Today the town of Silver Cliff has a population of 100 people. Is a fact or is an opinion? A fact. 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 Ok. The miners saw flame like black light on top of each grave. Is a fact or is an opinion? A fact. A fact. Edward Lineham suggested various explanations for the lights. Is a fact or is an opinion? A fact. fact. The lights were actually reflections of lights from the town. It's a fact or is an opinion? It opinion. is an opinion. Okay. There was no evidence of radioactivity. It's a fact or is an opinion? A fact. This is a fact. Okay. The lights were from the helmets of dead miners. It's a fact or is an opinion? It's an opinion. opinion. <laughs> Okay. Excellent. ¿Todos lo tienen? Yes, okay. teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Entonces con esto terminamos este. Y nos vamos, permítanme. No, vamos al examen. Ah, perdido. Acuérdense que hoy no vamos a dar respuestas. Solo vamos a, a leerlo completo. Y ustedes me van a decir si tienen alguna duda o consulta sobre qué es lo que tienen que hacer. O si tienen alguna duda o consulta sobre vocabulario. ¿Ok? No vamos a dar respuestas. One. Mom, when did you get your first car? Well, by the time I was a junior in high school, I had gotten a part-time job so that I could buy a used car. But you won't let me get a part-time job. I know, but before I got my first job, I was really immature. You know, I should have spent more time trying to get good grades instead of trying to get a car. You didn't get good grades? Well, I almost didn't graduate at the end of my senior year. Luckily, a school counselor noticed what was happening. He said I'd be able to buy any kind of car I wanted after I finished college and got a good-paying job. So he helped you get your priorities straight. Yes. A diploma was more important than a car. Two. Now I understand why you won't let me get a job. Good. That's my boy. However, I'm still interested in hearing about what else you did or didn't do in high school. Do you have any other regrets? Well, if I'd been more serious about school, I wouldn't have taken classes like theater production. I should have taken more college-required classes. Do you mean like higher math classes? Exactly. And that's why I'm so concerned about the courses you choose. I want you to have no regrets when you graduate next year. Three. Gosh, Tess. Have you noticed how many coffee shops there are around campus these days? Well, Austin, there are at least five, and each one has a different atmosphere, lighting, furnishings. I don't know how they all stay in business. Sounds normal to me. In order to be successful, it's important to have all those things, plus great drinks and snacks. And it has to be different from the rest. I guess you're right. And don't forget good music. Yes, I agree. There's one place I like best. It's called Jazzy's, and they only play jazz music. And you like that? Sure. 
It's my favorite kind of music to study by. Four. How about you, Tess? Where do you go? Me? Well, I love the roasted bean because I always get a perfect latte. The roasted bean? Where's that? On College Avenue. It's the most popular coffee bar near campus because of its great mix of music. The most popular, huh? Yeah. And for it to stay that way, it needs to attract new customers. So let's go and I'll buy you a coffee, Austin. Uh, thanks, Tess, but I don't drink coffee. But you were... Okay, chai tea then. Let's go. <laughs> she wants him to go with her. Okay. Now, after the listening... One. You have to answer, okay? Uh, before Patrick's mom finished high school, she, and then you have the options here, bought a new car, almost didn't graduate, work full-time after school, and then it has. If Patrick's mom had been more serious in high school, she would have taking auto mechanics, taking higher level classes, had more regrets. To establish a popular coffee bar, Tess and Austin agree, it's important to have affordable snacks, play good music, have soft, attractive lighting. Austin surprises Tess by saying he, Always goes to the roasted bean, loves shea tea, doesn't drink coffee. Okay, if you notice, each of the questions is from one of the listenings. Okay, do you have any questions about vocabulary? No? Me, teacher. Yes? Me, yeah. And and the exercise number four, when uh -huh. the could you finish? Um, Austin say the word, but I don't understand when when she he say the jazz is a favorite kind of music. Say the other words for, for finish the sentence, but I don't understand what he say. Well. In this case, Austin surprises Tess by saying he, uh, the surprise was not about the music. It was almost at the end of the listening when she invited him to get coffee. Then he says something. And then she say, "We, you can... Uh, drink chia tea when yeah. i comment that she wanted him to go with her but Chai. okay it's he my... he is this one okay and um, in my do is um about the end the sentence and the audio when when tess uh, talk about the jazz and Austin say I love this kind of music. One and, uh, like best. But, you but test I understand a coffee bar near campus because of its great mix of music. The most popular, huh? Yeah, and for it to stay that way, it needs to attract new customers. So let's go, and I'll buy you a coffee, Austin. Uh, thanks, Tess, but I don't drink coffee. But you were. Okay, chai tea then. Let's go. Es, es esa parte o antes? When they talk about jazz, he say, I love this kind of Entonces, music. Creo que but, es el tercero. But, I, but I don't understand nice. the final. And it has final. to be different from the rest. I guess you're right. And don't forget good music. Yes, I agree. There's one place I like best. It's called Jazzy's. And they only play jazz music. And you like that? Sure. It's my favorite kind of music to study by. 
Esa this parte. Part, this part, yes, it is Ajá. the finish. O sea que es, es el, el, la mejor música que a él le gusta para estudiar. He say you study. Study It's my by. favorite kind of music to study, study by. by. Study, o sea, okay. O study sea, by, study I by, study o sea by. que estar study cerca, by. estar cerca, escuchar eso mientras está estudiando. Okay, thank. O sea, estar cerca de ese tipo de música. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Any other question? No? Okay. One. Hoy vamos con esto. Okay, Ben. I think everything is ready for the party. What time did you tell everyone to show up? Oh, around 7.30 or 8. Great. Are Ellen and Walter coming? Well, I guess so. I sent Walter a text. Oh, no. Walter never checks his phone. You should have talked to him. I didn't really think about it. Texting is just more convenient for me. But you work with Ellen. You could have invited her at work. I'm sorry. I thought Walter would read the text message. I'm going to try to call them right now. Two. You know, Regina, I'm really fed up with Jessica. Why is that? She seems like a pretty nice person. In fact, I really enjoy working with her. She tells entertaining stories. Well, she does everything she can to impress the vice president. She's so polite to him, and she even baked him a chocolate cake on his birthday. Oh, I certainly wouldn't have done that. I think she's trying to get a promotion. Hmm, that's a very big assumption, Martin. Don't forget that she's nice to everyone, not just our boss. Okay. Here it says, Ellen and Walter probably won't be at the party because... And then, uh, someone to read A, please. Then send a text message to Walter. No, uh, read a. There you were invited. Okay, and now see. Alan works with Ben. Okay, thank you. Now, okay. uh, number two, someone to read number two, please. Martin thinks that Jessica shouldn't have. And then we have A. Somebody to read A, please. Break their Break boss, the boss up for the cake. Okay, B. Got in a better got job. Better job. Okay, C. Being polite to her boss. Okay. Now. Choose the correct words. Somebody to read uh, number one, please. I graduated from college. I used my college degree to get a high paying job. Okay. And then here you have to place once, until, or before. You have to decide which of these goes there. Letter A. Okay. Don't tell the answer. <laughs> Number two, oh, tomorrow me. we will check the answers. Tomorrow we will check the answers. I'm sorry. But today to... we are just uh, reading and saying if we have any problems with vocabulary or to know what you have to do. Okay. The same okay. here. You have to place any of these before the to start the, the sentence. Okay, uh, read sentence number two, please. Sakio uh, got his first car. His first car. He immediately found out how many of his friends needed rides. Uh huh. Before, until, and the moment. Okay, thank you. Now, somebody to read number three. As soon as Karina landed her first job, she took both ten percent of each pay checking in the bank. Okay. They had, had decided 
decided, have decided. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, number four. Okay, no real world experience in college, Andre, for a noon paying internship. Okay. Internship. Have applied. Have, have applied. applied. Should have Should applied. Couldn't have applied. Could they have applied? Okay, thank you. Now, number five. Somebody to read number five, please. Is I been more sensible in college? I have to control my money and not get into debt. Okay. You have to decide if it's have learned, could have learned or learned. Okay. But you have to place here. Now, uh, six. Somebody to read six, please. Uh, he's so navy. He's so navy. I can't believe it. He actually filled for all the lies Anna told him. Okay. Uh, should, should haven't been. Should been. Shouldn't not have. Been, have. Okay. Thank you. Now number seven. If I saw him in nature. I would have appreciate all that my family tried to do for for me when I was in school. Uh -huh. Having, has been, hadn't been. Okay, thank you. Now number eight. The deliverment was supposed to drop off the boxes. At nine o'clock, he is an hour late. He he lost the direction to get here. Uh -huh. Might have, should have, must not have. Okay, thank you. Number nine. Gloria was wearing a new ring today, and John looked very happy. They decide to get married. Shouldn't okay. have, might not have, must have. Okay, thank you. Number 10. Do you do remember to church the digital camera? Oh no, you reminded, you reminded me, would have, should have, wouldn't have. Okay, thank you very much. Now, 11. I ordered a steak last night at new restaurant. I was disappointed it was undercooked, but I, but I didn't do anything about it. I complained and sent and sent it back to the chef. Must have, should have, will have. Uh, about this, what you could do? ¿Qué harían ustedes? Si, si ustedes fueran a comer y, y, el, y lo que les sirven no está bien cocido a, a sus a sus gustos. ¿Qué harían ustedes? Actually, no. Yo lo regreso y les digo que me lo cozcan más. O sea, las cosas que están sin, sin cocinar, se pueden, se pueden cocinar mejor. Y además, si voy a pagar por esa comida, tiene que ser bien cocida. O sea, diferente Ay, ir ir, digamos, de invitado a una casa y que la gente no le cocine a uno a su gusto. Ahí sí me lo, me lo comería calladita la boca porque, ¿verdad? O sea, uno tiene que ser polite. Pero si yo voy a un restaurante, yo voy a pagar por eso, yo no voy a pagar por algo que no me gusta. In my opinion, <laughs> as, as I am, no, as I have 
23 years eating uh, out of my house, always, um, I learned that the best way is just leave the food and go out to the restaurant because people are very sensible and they get angry with you when you uh, do a, a complaint. Really? Yeah, no importa la forma en la que le digas, no, mira que si sí puede ser que la gente, la gente no, de cristal yo, yo, y no se yo, le puede la decir La cosa nada. es esta, que cuando yo... Yeah, vengo... yo, 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 yo sí, pero tú no, usted no sabe si se lo escupen y se lo vuelven a servir. <risa> <risa> es que cuando yo ordeno algo, yo digo, lo quiero bien cocido. Ajá, y si no lo llevan cocido. así, la gente, la gente igual es soberbia y se molesta. La Ay, gente, a la gente no se le puede decir, a la gente no se le puede decir absolutamente nada. Tengo 23 años comiendo fuera de casa, nunca cocino, jamás. Ah, Los yeah. tres o cuatro tiempos que hago, lo hago fuera y he tenido experiencias para contarles, pa, <risa> para aburrirlos. Entonces, te, hace unos años para acá, nunca más. Ahora, justamente hoy a mediodía, pedí un café. Le pregunté a la señora, ¿es café de café de verdad? ¿No sabía agua caliente? No, sí, no, no. no. Me sirve el café, lo pruebo, se lo dejé ahí en la mesa. Agarré mi vuelta y me fui. Ay, pero lo de... pagó. Sí, ya lo había pagado. Yo no lo Se pago. lo dejé en la mesa y me fui. No, es que ya lo había pagado. <risa> pero, ey, y esa discusión de, mire, devuélvame mis tres dólares, que no sé, ah, olvídese, ah, okay. mi infarto. No, no, yo ya. en ese caso, yo, mm, mm. No. no. Bueno, vale eh, más espero, mi salud. espero que ya no vuelva a regresar ahí, ¿verdad? Eso sí. No, no, jamás, jamás. Ajá. Y vea que tengo mano de niño, ¿ah? ¿eh? Negocio <risa> en el que entro, negocio que prospera. Ah, ok, mm. nice. Yeah. Mm. ¿Y, y, y negocio al que ya no regresa, negocio que se va para abajo. <risa> ya, on, honestamente, no lo sé, no lo sé porque no vuelvo, ¿eh? no vuelvo ¿eh? no, no, pues sí, sí, no se da cuenta si lo cierran luego. ¿eh? Ajá, ajá, no, no, no. <risa> ya <de>. Ok. <risa> ya no de. Now, we have this, eh, is, is this Like, yes. Ay, va a disculpar para el compañero de la pasa de Guaraní que un día fui a comprar un café Metro Centro, un disque uh -huh. café, y hasta basura llevaba el café. Uh -huh. Guácala. <risa> <risa> no, lo que sí me dio asco una vez fue que vi fotos así en, en, en Facebook. Este, en, en, creo que fue que en Mr. Donuts. Que uh. habían comprado unas cosas y que les habían salido cucarachas. Ya. Yeah. De lo que estaban comiendo. Uh -huh. <ríe> Yuca, la verdad. Nunca más life. regresé yo a, 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 a mis cerdonas. <ríe> y bueno, y lo cerraron por eso. Les sí, mandaron, les mandaron a revisar que, cómo estaba eh, salubridad. Mandó a, y, y, y cerraron. Y les dijeron que tenían que arreglar todo eso. Well, ambitious, repeat, ambitious, naive, naive. Previous. Previous. carefree, carefree. carefree. Pragmatic. pragmatic, sophisticated, sophisticated. Okay. entonces van a tener que completar las oraciones con cualquiera de estas. Ok, entonces aquí dice, complete the sentences with the words at the left. Just type the word in, no capital letters or periods are needed. Ok, said is very, he makes decisions based on practical results instead of ideas or unproved theories. O sea, aquí está como describiendo. ¿Cómo es set? Entonces, de acuerdo a la, a, la, a la descripción que dice aquí, ustedes deben de decir si él es ambicioso, si él es naive, si es rebellious, carefree, pragmatic, o sophisticated. ¿Ok? Lo mismo aquí. Until people experience different challenges in life, they are still. Entonces, aquí tienen que poner ustedes. My son is so, he never seems to worry about anything in his life. Audrey is a child. 
she is very difficult to control at school. Eh, les sugiero que, ¿se acuerdan que les pasé un link con, 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 el, con el diccionario eh, Merriam Webster? Chequen todas estas palabras, ambitious, naive, rebellious, carefree, pragmatic, sophisticated, para saber a qué se refieren y de acuerdo a eso contestar. Y aquí dice, eh, to build a large customer base, a beauty salon, have the latest ha hairstyles, wants good service, has to be a good reputation. Uh -huh. Now, discount stores don't have to advertise much customers to be attracted in order to attract by attracting. Okay. Uh, what do you think is the best advertise any restaurant or any thing that has that has to deal with customers can have? ¿Cuál creen que es la mejor eh, forma de anunciarse? Para mí, para mí, el one to one. O si no, también en Google, pero lo que la gente dice de esos lugares y cómo los califica. ¿Verdad? ¿Se han dado cuenta ustedes que en Google hay calificaciones para los diferentes lugares? Yeah, teacher. Yes. Hay, por ejemplo, ustedes que le sirvieron café ahí con, con basura o que le dieron un café que no servía, habiendo preguntado. Usted se va a Google, donde está el local, y usted lo, lo hace el comentario y lo califica. Eso uh -huh. ahí queda. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. For a yes, new pizzeria so. on my campus, it needs to have 24 hour a day delivery service to succeed, to successful, or to be success. And then we have this, it's almost the same, okay? You have to to write uh, the the best word to complete the phrase. Okay. Solo se los estoy pasando así rapidito porque ya ya hora. Richard. Dígame. I have a problem in the in part three. And, uh -huh. Um. En lo que es en aquí no está diciendo cuál es usar. Do, do no 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 signs. dice. No dice. No? No, okay. no dice. Okay. Entonces, ustedes, eh, pero, pero tienen que ver con lo que hemos estado viendo en, en clases. Ok. ¿Verdad? Y si no, no se preocupe. Ahí a la hora de estar chequeando mañana, si usted no lo puede poner, eh, entre todos vamos a, a, a llegar a un consenso. Ok. Help me, partner, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We will help. Ok. okay. Ahí pregunta en el WhatsApp. Ahí acuérdense que siempre estamos. Y entonces está esta lectura, ¿verdad? La leen y después contestan lo que dice ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, tienen que decidir si es eh, falso o verdadero lo que dice de acuerdo al reading. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿eso es el examen? Cualquier duda o consulta, acuérdense que el examen tiene que estar terminado para mañana. Ok, teacher. Ok, si tienen cualquier duda o consulta en el WhatsApp. Ok. Ok, teacher. Take care. See you tomorrow. And we will finish the test tomorrow. O sea, vamos okay, a verificar teacher. ya las respuestas. Si usted trata de hacer lo más que pueda. Si hay cosas que no puede hacer, lo hacemos entre todos. Ok. okay. Bye, bye. Thank you. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Good night. Uh, you Thank too. You. Have a nice night.